Patrick, the contract freeze on players has been lifted. Will you be prepared to renegotiate a new CBA with the AFL if that money is going to come down as per the TV money, if they're not prepared to tell you the state of their finances and the state of that $600 million loan? Well, that's the detail we're working through at the moment, Caro. Uh, certainly one of the things to, to get through first was that contract freeze, as you've just spoken about. So that was the first important pillar. So for some players, and it clearly doesn't cater for all, but there is some certainty there for, for clubs that, that do want to contract certain players. So the next step is that in that now is really to, to delve into the detail with the AFL, which they've been certainly open in certain things. So we're working through that uh, at the moment. And the next play on that certainly is to, uh, is to look through the CBA. And that was one of the provisions when we first agreed upon um, the, the structure of the deal um, when COVID first hit. So that's the plan going forward. Here are some players who are out of contract at the end of the year. I think some of the key players uh, from clubs, obviously Dugowie and Moore, have been spoken about a lot. But, uh, yeah, Brad Crouch on Adelaide, you'd think he'd probably be on the move. Some stars at the Giants, Cameron Williams, Perryman, Joe Danner at the Bombers, Isaac Smith at Hawthorne. But uh, Damien Barrett made some really interesting points about Ben Brown, which I want to take a listen to and discuss Ben Brown. Don't then now put Ben Brown into the marketplace like they're doing, clearly. Oh, you think you think they put Ben in the market? Oh, absolutely they have. Really? Now, Ben wanted a longer deal than the one they initially offered. You think they're shopping him? Absolutely they're shopping him. Mm. Any club who wants Ben Brown, there's a conversation to be had. I can't believe the noise around Ben Brown. He's been a star yeah. for that club for the last two years. It's like he's solely responsible for them losing their five games. I think... It's out of line. Uh, yeah. I'd be shocked if they're shopping. Yeah. At the moment, it's player of the week or coach of the week. I mean, you have a look. at Every week so far, somebody is a billy goat and the next week they're a superstar again or you don't get much for the but, superstar. But did you hear it? what Damien said, though, or do we not believe he that? He thinks it's North Melbourne-led. He knows He's that saying they're shopping him around. Nice. I'm not saying... Yeah, so that's, he has kicked 63 goals in 2017, 61 in 2018, 64 in last year. So he's a great Basically quality Basically the player. Coleman medalist. But they have to decide uh, what they're doing. You know, Goldstein and... Uh, Higgins could have gone last year. They yeah. kept them. Now they've got to be making. So some should hard he decisions. go? Where would he go? Where would you? Uh, if well, you were I was him, saying where would you that go? I, I think if he was in Collingwood's team and he was in Brisbane's team this year, I'd be more confident they could win the premiership. So I think they're. You know, you should have a look at Ben Brown. If North don't want him, he I'm won't not be sure going to right. Brisbane. He kicked seven goals up there a few years ago and said it's far too hot for me. I, I'm yeah. just saying, like, <laughs> yeah, he, that's why I, I rate him too. Do you I'm think he wants? To, I think they bring think him. Ben Peter, Brown loves North. He should speak. I think, I think he loves it. It's one of the sexiest things about that football mm. club at the moment. Look, I'm he sorry. He should speak to his uncle James yeah. Manson and ask him where he should go. <laughs>